Today marks the beginning of a special week here on New Center 8 as we count down to a spectacular Memorial Day weekend celebration. This is the seventh year for the Salute to Veterans celebration, which includes the annual air show and parade. In fact, this is almost becoming a week-long celebration. Randy Wright is now live at Columbia Regional Airport with some early air show arrivals. That's right, Lyndon Rex. This has uh, certainly become uh, something that, that I look forward to each and every year, and I think thousands of mid-Missourians do as well. We're projecting over 100,000 people will enjoy the Salute to Veterans Air Show here at Columbia Regional Airport this coming weekend. Then, of course, don't forget about the parade. That occurs on Monday morning, of course, Memorial Day. And the reason for all of this is to salute our nation's veterans. This truly is becoming a, kind of a week-long event. It's, uh, here it is Monday, and we're already welcoming some of the aircraft here to Columbia Regional Airport. This is a, just a gorgeous plane. This is a replica of a, a 1916 Newport II. Now, back then, the, the world was in the middle of a, a great conflict, and uh, the Germans had a tremendous aircraft known as the Fokker E-3. Well, this is the airplane that was built to uh, compete with that particular aircraft in the skies over Europe. Kind of an interesting story. This plane really has a very important part in American aviation history. It was the first airplane ever flown in combat by American pilots flying as an American squadron. The squadron was formed back in uh, the springtime of April 1916, composed of American flyers who had volunteered to fight for France. Something kind of interesting, since the United United States was neutral at that time and did not enter the war until 17. Each volunteer had to join the French Foreign Legion to be able to retain his American citizenship. Now this is a, a very small plane, as you probably can see. It's very, very light and it only flies at about 50 to 60 miles per hour. The interesting thing is a plane this small flies very slow. You might think it would be easy to fly. That is certainly not the case. They fly pretty much like the original did. They're pretty unstable in the air. You can't turn loose of them and, and relax. You've got to fly them all the time. Uh, we fly at 60 miles an hour, so we just follow I-70 and the cars pass us and lead us to Columbia. But we got here an hour and a half, had a little bit of a tailwind today, and we're looking forward to the air show next week. We'll be flying the, the Dawn Patrol around the outskirts of the town, hoping to wake people up between 8 and 9 o'clock and get them out here. Now, this is the Kansas City Dawn Patrol, something very interesting. In the Great Flood of 1993, these planes were all underwater and then completely restored. So hopefully, weather permitting, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday mornings, you can look up into the skies over central Missouri and you can see this beautiful aircraft. And in fact, there are four of them. They'll be flying over the skies, waking you up and reminding you that this is the weekend for the Salute to Veterans Air Show here at Columbia Regional Airport. Again, the times, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on uh, May 27th and 28th. That's the time for the Hearn Center Shuttle Service. Now, all the rain, it's very, very wet out here, as you might imagine. So between 9 and 1, you can catch that shuttle service out here to the air show and then look forward to just a fantastic weekend of fun with the Salute to Veterans Air Show 7th Annual right here at Columbia Regional Airport. The Newport 2. What a gorgeous plane and we're glad to have the Kansas City Dawn Patrol here in Columbia for the Salute to Veterans weekend. Now, we did mention how it was a little wet outside and unfortunately it looks as though there's some more wet weather on the way. That same weather pattern persisting.